start um, by also telling you what we're about to discuss. It's always important to put matters into perspective. It's just three days to that labor ultimatum that has been given to government. And you know that they had a meeting with the president, so to speak. So we'll be looking at that three days. What should we be expecting from them? The concern is that it looks like some commentators, interested parties seem to think that Labour has taken a side, but are they just listening to the president, trying to find a solution to the menace of Galamse? And then subsequently, the president uh, on his travels had an interaction with France 24, and uh, in, in lieu of all that has been happening, the protesters on Galamse, who wants the president to call for a state of emergency currently under arrest, etc. The president says that, well, as we have it in the constitution, we have three arms of government, the judiciary operates separately. And so putting the blame on either the executive or him or his attorney general, minister of justice, for the demonstrators who had flouted law duly, but behind bars was not any intervention he could have undertaken, so to speak. So if you've joined up, please share the stream. I'm just introduced to you, a man who hasn't been on our table for some time now, has been busy campaigning and then also uh, influencing voters as well, trying to tell them what the message of Dr. Mahmoud Obamia is. DMB 2024, it is possible. Kujun Safwa Poku. Um, here, here in also not only an entrepreneur but also an energy um, expert as well. Good morning to you. Good morning, Roland. How are you? It's been a while. It's good to be back home. Yes, it's been a while because TV3 abandoned Kujufuku. The sad part of it. No, we never did. No, you did. We never did. I mean, but I'm happy to be here. I mean, when I got a call that uh, if I'm available, I said, why not? I mean, the bus, the possibility bus is in town till tomorrow. So um, why not? Mm. Uh, it's good to be here. We, 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 we're grateful that you, you've joined us, and this is always your home. So, and then you also influence public opinion, so it's very important as well. You've become a mainstay in our political discourse. Thank you. And then also, I have Edu Jitamaklu. Good morning to you, legal practitioner. How are you? Good morning, Roland. Um, good morning to my brother and, uh, and my brothers, and then Prof, who will be joining. Uh, Roland, I want to tell you something. TV3, I don't know. I never knew to be three is this, you know, it goes this far. Why? As far as Kulungu, the border, far. And everybody is talking about TV3. I want to encourage you to keep doing what you are doing because the level at which you are educating, informing Ghanaians across the length and breadth of this country requires that you continue what you are doing. And I want to extend this greeting from the Upper East region to you. You were in the Upper East region? Yes, okay. for the whole of last week. All I right. spent uh, my day campaigning in 11 constituencies. And everywhere, it is Roland Walker, Bella Mundi, and all of those things. And the people in the Upper East region really do appreciate the work you are doing. All right. Solomon Owusu. He's a regular now across the media landscape, projecting uh, not only his political views, but also influence and opinion as well. Movement for Change, how are you? Uh, Is the campaign ongoing? Very well, and mm. let me bring you greetings from my candidate, Mr. Alan Chomanti, who is turned in Ashanti region upside down. Uh, greetings from the running mate, Kwame Osudans, who is also making a serious incursion in the central region. And all the team leaders across the country that is ensuring that uh, we do away with these incompetent geopolitics that has battered our system for far too long, that Ghanaians are waiting for that redemption. So it's a redemption time, and we are very focused and strongly believe that come December 7th, definitely history will be made by Mr. Alan Chomati. All right, Satin, let me say good morning to Robert Coma, Chief Executive for the Wembley Sports Construction. They were in Ahinkro in the Ashanti region. Um, they just um, outdoored a new... Ghana Gas sponsored AstroTurf, and, and I have to say that when you go to the community, you see the AstroTurfs and what is able uh, to our do. My brother Robert uh, Coma uh, is doing extremely well. Yeah, especially in the evenings. I it's, told him it's that, very commendable. I told him that the AstroTurf appears to be in the MPP dominated. Are you sure? Yes, and I want to encourage since it's coming from Ghana Gas. <laughs> 
they should also consider have we been to Nandoli? opposition. Nandoli. In, have we been to Nandoli? I, I think uh, Robert Coleman you know, went uh, there. Yes, ask him. No, is saying, I use the word dominated. But there's also dominated no, knew, in Nandoli as well. I knew why I used the word dominated. Ah, okay. So I'm pleading with my very good brother, Robert Coleman, that the sponsors, you should tell them that it should be evenly distributed for the sake. Which because community this, do you want it next? Oh, in fact, I would have even wished. In Quanta. Oh, well. I would appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> well, certainly. But um, let's um, get you out to speak with the latest. So, Shadrach, let's go. The rivers Pra, Birim, Tano, and Cobra and Bonsa have been heavily polluted following uncontrolled illegal mining activities in them. These rivers have been polluted with mercury, lead and cyanide, thus posing a threat to aquatic life and humans who rely on them for survival. The Densu River, which takes its source from the Etiwa Forest in the eastern region and enters the Gulf of Guinea at Botiano in the Greater Accra region, continues to provide safe drinking water to millions of people in Accra. However, the river is now heavily polluted. The state of the river in Insaom in the eastern region is troubling. Residents who rely on the water for their daily chores are no longer able to use it. But five days and six days ago, you want to see a color, we say, I tell you, say, they want to meet you that color, go for here. I, yeah, in time, I want to mention soon if you, yeah, it was a senior, I just a couple. I was intimate sense, so they ain't senior, maybe. So, why would you want to do a chance for no? So, when you mean soon, so I, then you call away night. Mariam has lived not far from the Densu River all her life. She tells me the present state of the river is alarming. As you can see about the river, look at the color. And look at how the Densu is coming. I never seen Densu like this since they born me. I never seen everything like this before. Me, as I can say now, is about the galamse. I use this to bath. I use this to cook. But for now, I can't feed them. Since we have, we've seen a lot of protests. Uh, some activists were uh, arrested, put in jail. The opposition is saying you're trying uh, to stifle dissent. I'm not responsible for jailing people in Ghana. Yeah. The courts in Ghana are independent institutions. And they have been all through this period of the Fourth Republic. Um, people misconduct themselves and they're brought before court. It's for the court to deal with them. That's not a matter. It has nothing to do about politics. It has nothing to do with the executive. And their behavior is what lands them in, in problem with the police and with the courts. It's not the, 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 the protests. How can the president, who himself, his political career was aided by leading protests, have problems with protests? I don't have problems with protests. And nothing is done in Ghana to prevent people from airing their views. Uncle Joe, um, where has the conversation reached within the corridors of power now? And then especially within the campaign of DMB, since you, you are one of the major... Well, DMB has a very solid uh, message for the communities that we've gone to. Let's promote responsible mining. Mm. Okay. Um, responsible mining, everybody is in favor of. Mining in our river bodies and in our forest reserve without permits. Everybody is against it. But Roland, it's not about conversation in the corridors of power. <clears throat> it's about the commitment of government. And, and when we say government, it's everybody. Let's not only make government seem like it's a political head that are government. In a democracy, government is me and you and our political leaders. I don't understand. Now you <clears throat> say it's government you and is our problem. Government is everybody. That is democracy. Government is everybody. So let's not only restrict when we talk about government to only political heads. Look, for me, the, this conversation, right, can be situated in this sense. I don't think anybody can, in an iota of doubt, say that, that another led government had not been serious about fighting Galamsey. The first act of the Nado government in 2017 was to ban small-scale mining, right? When that thing was done, it was done for almost two years. And when the ban was on, you should see the commentary. You can go, everybody can go online and look at the commentary 
of what researchers, opinion leaders, said about Galamsey, the ban on, they call it the artisanal small-scale mining, right? Today, when that ban was on, first thing another did, we ban small-scale mining, be it legal or illegal, we ban it. These were some of the commentaries by opinion leaders. Oh, young people use artis artisanal and small-scale mining to build their livelihood and accumulate assets. Government ban on artisanal small-scale mining activities led to loss of jobs and financial hardships. Young people unable to aspire to better future because of government ban on artisanal small-scale mining. These are just a few comments by lecturers, researchers, and opinion leaders in this country when that ban was on. Pressure was put on government to lift that ban. And sometime in August 2018, the ban was lifted for people to do responsible mining, which is mining with permits, small scale. Now, something interesting in this country is that every time that the government in 2018 to 2020 has been very committed and serious in fighting small scale mining, our partners in development, our partners in this is the NDC. MPP government is only in one part. The NDC, who is the opposition, cannot, let me land, the NDC. No, your partners opposition. in development said it can only be well, the NDC I'm just because that we the have politics, other political stakeholders. Well, just, there have been the I'm emergence of the of, movement okay, so for can change. I, can I see one of them? There's also been the media as well as civil society. Well, okay, you do so, even agree okay. that it's the media that started this fight. So how no, do you I'm come just, to I'm that conclusion, saying, okay, Mr. Kujoko? Okay, so let me now say that. Okay, let me correct my word. One of our partners in this fight is our political partners, right? The NDC. They will sit on national television and talk about Galamse. But they are members of parliament and they are parliamentary candidates in the constituencies goes and fight against the policies of government to win political seats. And I'll give you four constituencies that this happened in 2019, 2020. Everlaw Ajumoro Jura, Upper West Dentra, Akwetia, and Pristia Hunivali. In fact, in Jura, right, in Avalo Jura, the Galamse people were given, before the 2020 election, right, the Galamse people were giving people 1,000 cities each to vote against the MPP. Now, when you look at these four... The Galamse people? Yes. They were giving the, um, the, the voters 1,000 cities each. And your reporters can go to the constituency and find out. I've been there. And these things I'm How telling much you, did you give the Galamse people? No, why would we give Galamse money? We were fighting. The Operation Vanguard was on the ground in 2019, 2020. And the fight that the government had was on full steam. And all these four seats were MPP seats that we lost to the NDC. In fact, Upper West Dentra West has never voted NDC. The parliamentary candidate today, right, is... Daniel Ohene Dakun, he's NDC. His message to the people was that vote NDC back and we'll allow you to do Galamse. So it's very simple. This problem is here today because we've not had honest partners. He who comes to equity should come with clean hands. I don't think that anybody in this country from the child born, if he could speak to the president, is against people polluting is in favor of people polluting our river bodies and our water bodies. Everybody is against it. But we should separate the two conversations. There are people whose livelihood depends on small-scale mining, licensed and responsible mining. They are doing their work. There are people who are doing illegal small-scale mining. You want to call that Galamse? Fine. That is Galamse. But let's not call everything Galamse. Because not all small-scale mining is Galamse. If we do that, we now... Mr. Kuyopoku, are you saying here on this platform that the destruction of the environment, the wading into ideally unapproved vegetative forest, and then the pollution we're seeing, we just showed Dinsu, is because the NDC is perpetrating this? No, I'm not or saying, is aiding I'm not, I'm So not what are you that. saying? No, 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 please. Do. You know, when uh, your brother uh, Hughes was showing his video, in one breath he's talking about forest reserves, in one breath he's showing video of water bodies. There are two different conversations. All those letters, all those cabinet decisions, all those things you talk about is in relating to what? Forest reserves. You can mine in forest reserves. The law allows mining in forest reserves, but with proper due process. You cannot. And responsibly. Any, no, yes, responsibly. 
There is no law in Ghana that allows you to mine in river bodies. None. The mining on river bodies is illegal and should be condemned. But let's not be showing documents about people granting uh, in, in, in forest reserves and then show pictures of river bodies as if somebody has granted somebody permission to mine I asked in the river. a question you never answered. No. My I, specific but, but question is this. that was not this. what I said. That's why and I know and 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 what, and what, I I said, what I said is... We Are you need, saying the NDC we need is, partners. is... No, no, no. We need, we need, we need partners to fight this galamse. What I'm saying is that he who comes to equity should come with clean hands. You can't sit on national television, instigate youth to go on demonstration, and privately go to constituencies and encourage that very thing you are speaking against in Accra. If today these MPs who took their who took seats from the MPP because they promoted um, Galamse, and I'll mention them again: Evola Ajumrajwa, Upper West Dentra, Priestia Huni Valley, Akwetia. Right? If these four MPs are prepared to come out and condemn publicly on national television, we will join them in the constituencies to fight. Because these four constituencies constitute the bigger area of the Galamse in this country, the western part of the country. The upper, upper West Dentra is the upper Dentra West, is the uh, I am free corridor. Now, let the MP, which is the NDC MP for Amenfi Central, come out publicly and, and, and condemn um, Galamse. All these things, we would be able to now join everybody. But what I'm saying is that let's not sit in Accra and demonstrate. I'm very sad to see people demonstrating Accra when the real work is being done where in the mining areas. What let are you claiming? That they should go and demonstrate there? Th that's, but, Where's but, the seat of government? But hold on. The, who but, takes the, but hold on. the, people who takes doing the rightful say. constitutional no, decisions? but the people doing what I'm saying is not government. Okay. It's, 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 okay. It, is, it, is, it is the youth in community okay. who are Can doing this. Can I ask this, this question? Go ahead. Um, is the government of Nanado Dankwe Kufad and Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, who uh, is his vice president, um, relaxed or decided to be relaxed and very lax about enforcement of key regulations to continue with the gains from 2018, 2019, 2020 because they were afraid they'll lose seats? Not at all. In 2024? Not at all. Okay. The, the, the fight is on today. Right. What I'm saying to you is that the fight is You consider not the pollution fight? No, no, but hold on. But those, hold on, hold on. There's still Amorbri in Ghana, right. isn't there? Have we not been fighting Amorbri? But isn't there Amorbri in Ghana today? Has Amorbri stopped? Isn't the police fighting Amorbri? I don't understand you. What I'm saying to you is that in certain areas, there are what you called volunteer uh, neighborhood watch. Why is I did neighborhood watch in some areas? Because the police is doing something. The police is not doing enough for the community. So they have their own neighborhood watch. So it means that we're going yeah. to see more pollution of no, our and destruction of, of our waters. What I'm saying to you is no, that I'm not people I'm, it's a who want to Galamse to so stop. Does it mean, is that what no, it means? People who want Galamse to stop should go to the community and educate. Should go to the community and stop being double mouthed. Should go to the community and demonstrate in those communities. Right. And against the youth who are your party Galamse. is at the center of this accusation. You're perpetrating this or just paying lip service. Okay, so once again, good morning. Uh, Roland, uh, which of the topics are we dealing with? Well, because it, you see, you they, are, they, two, they are on Galamse. So we can blend. Yes. So what I'll do is I'll start with Mr. Akufado's claim on France 24. You see, the level of dishonesty. Being what? That our president exhibit on international platform is terrible. And the reason he does that is that there's no benefit of fact-checking him. Listen carefully. The president had run away from the Ghanaian media and is doing international PR because the international community had come to the realization that this man had become extremely irresponsible and engaged in the arrest and prosecution of protesters. Now listen carefully. How do you come to that conclusion? You see, kindly read Article 88 of the 1992 Constitution yeah. for me. Is it on the Attorney General? Yes, please. Okay. Article 88. Mm. Yeah. What does it say? There shall be an Attorney General of Ghana who shall be a Minister of State mm -hmm. and the principal legal advisor to the government. What has that got to do with no, your go, argument? No, go to the next. So, 88.2, the Attorney General shall discharge such other duties 
of legal nature, as may be referred or assigned to him by the president or by imposed who? by, by the president mm -hmm. or imposed on him by this constitution mm -hmm. or any other law. Perfect. What's this for? Now, go to the third. The attorney general shall be responsible for the initiation and for conduct. The, for the, and conduct for of the what? Initiation. And? Conduct. Of? Of all prosecutions of criminal offenses. Thank you. Look, the person who is in court prosecuting this protesters is Akufuado's attorney general, Godfrey Yebu Adame. He initiated the prosecution. The person who arrested this pro uh, uh, protesters is the IGP appointed by Mr. Akufuado under his direction and instruction. Now, you know what? These misdemeanors are usually prosecuted by police officers. Misdemeanors. They are prosecuted by police officers. In the specific case of these pro uh, uh, protesters, the attorney general himself said he wants to prosecute them. What it means is that Mr. Akufuado had direct interest in their prosecution. Because it's been done by his attorney general? Directly. Because, you see, usually, Police officers who are prosecuted, when it's a misdemeanor, it's not a, even felony. There are times that they will prosecute stealing. They will prosecute the issues of rape, defilement, among other things. In this specific case, the attorney general who was in the UN, at the UN General Assembly with Nanado, called for the prosecution of this individual. Now, you see, in a very dishonest manner, the president says, oh, I don't know anything. Pontius Pilate. What he didn't tell the news, uh, um, um, the journalists, is that when the lawyers for the prosecutors applied for bail, the attorney general rep in court opposed the bail application. What was he doing? He was acting for and on behalf of the executive. Who has the executive? Is it Eduji? Is it John Mahama? Is it him? Or my brother here? It is Nana Dodanko. The argument listen, that listen. the judiciary oh, please, uh, that please, he makes that the judiciary is independent. I beg you. I beg you. Listen, if you read the ruling of the court when the bill application was made, and look, I just want for the record of this meeting, uh, uh, this particular conversation, to just read what the judge said on bill. In fact, he never said anything at all. If you look at the prayer, made by the, the defense attorney. All the, pre, uh, uh, the, the judge did was, I refused bail without more. And I just want to read the last end of the judge's ruling. The position of the court is that the court is not inclined to grant bail. And the accused person will be remanded to police custody instead of the prison custody prosecution prayed for and the police having custody of the accused persons. So even the Republic wanted them remanded in prison custody. Hey, you, what you are claiming is that the president is playing ostrich. Completely. Ah. If not even ostrich, mampam. You know the account, uh, uh, animal called uh, animal called mampam. See no evil, hear no evil. So it is that mampam leadership. That is what we have seen up to now. Now, you know, curiously, the police, in, in fact, misled the court that they obtained an injunction restraining the demonstrator. What the court said, and listen carefully, the police went to the court as party. Meanwhile, the high court has ruled that for protests, you can't go and restrain them as party. You understand? So they went as party to restrain them from going to the revolutionary square and not 37. So the protesters went there. So clearly, these things were done. But you know why? You see, I have always said, the government we have today, led by Kufado and Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya, have demonstrated a certain high level of vindictiveness. All they wanted to do is to get a court to remand them for two weeks. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. Oliver Baker, whatever, is already before our courts. And he has been attending upon the court from home. So when you say such a person is flight risk, what do you exactly mean? It doesn't make sense. But you see, in all of this, have you heard Bahamia speak about um, the protesters? John Dramani Mahama had put it out. That's that the, 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 
the two weeks given to them was high-handed. He has said the attorney general should forthwith. Well, what, do, what are you on. expecting Dr. Baumia to say? I beg you, to do forthwith a knowledge protocol. When MPP tax, armed MPP guys stormed a court and drove away a sitting judge, the attorney general filed a knowledge protocol in respect of that matter. How did it end? And now you are putting mere protesters yeah. behind. Yes. Should we show the videos? Please do. No, should we show the videos? I want to watch the video. Okay. Well, they, blo they block rules. Please. No, no. Oh. Should we show the videos? Let's show the videos. They, they, they block sure rules. No, no. In 19... Oh, oh please, please. 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 When you were talking... Right? Listen, the video. when you were talking, I was no, making... I only asked the question. No, no. So later you can ask the question. Can I send the videos and we show You are not helping me. Please, let's show the videos. No, you can send it. But we have some of the videos, so... No, show them. Listen. An MPP communicator sat in this very studio and alleged that by reason of the blockade of roads, 10 people died. Thankfully to Bella Mundi, they called the PRO, the deputy PRO of National Ambulance Service, and he said it's a bare-faced lie. So what they have done is to contrive a particular narrative to create the impression that <coughs> it is the unruly behavior of the protesters that resulted. Akufado is fully aware. Why is Bahamian quiet? He is quiet because he's a beneficiary oh. of this uh, detention. Can you make such please, a please, please, please. Of this detention of this protest. We have freedom of speech. You know now, that. you know something. Everybody's free to speak You know something. It's good you blend it too. So let me just move to the second. On this platform, my brother here alleges that four constituencies that the NDC won. The NDC won because of Including Akwitia, I think I remember. Yeah. Akwitia, first of all. Please. Akwitia, first of all. Oh, sorry. Akwetia, first of all, the MPP parliament, MP then, I must say, went independent. And that is what influenced the parliamentary outcome. How then do you blame it on your so-called fight against Galamse, which never took place in the first place? Now listen, he said, oh, evaluate Jira. NDC won because Galamseyers were paying 1,000 Ghana. And I said Galamseyers were paying 1,000. Let me, you know, you How in God's to my name world. can I you never, say? Listen, what I'm Galam saying Galam were paying voters 1,000 Ghana cities. Uh -huh. This yes. bare face yeah. lies. You provide no evidence whatsoever. And you sit on a national platform and parrot this bare face lies. Christian Honey Valley well, you was already an NDC seat. Please, Barbara yeah. Otinjesi took it in 20, uh, uh, 2016. And it reverted back to the NDC. How is that? So if you pick all the okay, city, and, go upper and talk dentra, about upper dentra. Upper dentra. Mm -hmm. In fact, now listen carefully. The people voted for Nanado Danque Kufado. Nanado won. But so, in all these constraints, Nanado please, won. Please, please, please. In listen. all these constraints, Nanado if, won. If Nanado, listen, no, is the one fighting the Galamse, why didn't the people punish him? Per your logic. I don't you understand. sit on it. No. The ban was done by Nanado. Correct. Mm. But the people in those four constituencies he mentioned all voted for him. If he was the one fighting it, why were they blaming the parliamentary So you're saying candidate? they were looking at the strength of the candidates? Perfect! In those communities. Please, don't sit on national television and do that. Now, you know what? If you pick 21 constituencies in Ashanti out of 47, they are the Galamse Zone, the Amancia Enclave, Edujama, Kunsu, Manson Kwanta, the Ahafa North, South, East, and South West Enclave. Then the Konongo Asante Achim Enclave. All those 21 seats, MPP won presidential and parliamentary. Please go and do your research well. MPP lost Crowo. Are they doing Galante in Crowo? MPP lost Lodjokuku. You do Galante in Lodjokuku. MPP lost Madina Adenta. Were you doing Galante there? Okay. So, so, can I, see, so can I answer these questions? No, we must so all appreciate you some things. Okay, I'll go down. to Solo. Okay, when it comes, I'll note it down. I'll, Please note it down. Okay, I will. So that we look, have a, we speak, no, no, a very no, no, austere as we speak, conversation. And look, I want to respect please, my brother. Please run, yes, run up. My run brother up. Titus Glover. Titus makes a very important point. He says the involvement of MPP operatives, it is what has made the fight difficult. Now that's an old table. It doesn't matter. The principle is solid, and I associate with that. As we speak, the MPP MCE, the MCE appointed by Akufuado for Amenfi East, in the person of Honorable Frederick Cranchy, 
Immediately, MPP came to power. April 2017, he registered a mining company called Cofreeze, Construction and Engineering Limited. Guess what? On the 17th of January 2023, he, he applied and was granted a mining concession. So as we speak, the MPP MCE for Amenfi East is into mining. Now he's the chairman of uh, Dyson. Well, the argument was that that's a license. I beg you. He's the chairman of MUSEC. How do you expect the person who has a company engaged in this activity to be the one fighting it? Akufuado, I don't know. May this fraud never be perpetrated on Ghana. Two, the uh, DCE for Impoho, Honorable Ignatius Asa Mensa, <clears throat> registered a sole proprietorship company called JKSM Mining. As we speak, his company is busily mining in the Odumasi Impoho concession as late as 9th of uh, August 2024. Akonta Mining. You remember the MPP PC for Wasa East and Ashram Paul, basically telling Galamseyes to attack soldiers. The candidate? Yeah. Yes. In and that video, know, okay. And you see, okay. the soldiers but saw... But he came to apologize. Please. The soldiers saw how. How? Mahama was brutally murdered. And so, you tell your wife, I'm going to duty. And you hear somebody saying that people should attack you. What will be your strength to go and fight. And so the point ought to be made very clear. Dr. Mahmoud Bahamir's coordinator for the middle bed, the Honorable Ayu Afriye, the Parliamentary Select Committee Chairman on Health, is on tape telling Ghanaians. So is Nana. Please. No, so is Nana. On calm tape, down. saying the same calm thing. Calm down. No, I'm just saying. So it's not now on stay calm, the same Stay thing. calm. Stay calm. When you were talking, I was very calm. Be calm. You are G3. <clears throat> no, I'm not. Listen. When are you so a free year? Yeah, yes. I'll end here. When are you a free year? Openly said, Galam said, we will not stop today. We will not stop tomorrow. Bamia had never disassociated himself because that is his coordinator for the middle belt. What was he doing? If that is not the position of Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, what you do is that you say, no, even though he's my coordinator within this belt, this is not the DMB position on Galamse. That is the what DMB do. position on Galamse. And their position, and let me tell responsible you. Mining. The, the Galamse, oh. if he talks about, is responsible mining. Why can't you correct these things? Mirekuduka. You heard Mirekuduka, and I, I, tie in, I, I tie it in with labor. When Labour raised the issue of demonstrating, we felt it was a good call. Then Baumier's coordinator on mining, Mrekuduka, now went out there and said the NDC is behind organized labor. And that the NDC is behind GME, not among others, to go on this demonstration. From the day Mrekuduka made that statement, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia had never issued a statement saying the claim by Mireku Duka is not what he represents. What do you have when you are a leader, when you are a leader, and your subordinates speak, and that does not reflect your position, you issue a disclaimer. Oh, please. Then we know that that is your principal position. Bamia, and I say this, Galamseyes cannot fight Galamse. The people involved in the Galamse now are parachicks of the MPP, MPP operatives. So never expect them. I mean, what is wrong? Akufado simply say, I declare a state of emergency on all our water bodies. What is wrong with that? But the president had refused because even business associates of his daughters are directly involved by way of elite minerals. So you cannot appreciate so look, why you make all this conversation. The president goes about this on the matter. other hand, and then we have this also milling up. Now you you seem to be caught in, in the missiles that have been thrown by uh, everybody else right here. So Roland, it is the reason you need an independent president. You see, what the president did on uh, 20, France 24 uh, for me was mm -hmm. very unfortunate. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate because you see he gave himself out. In one breath, you say the president is not responsible for jailing uh, uh, people, which is a fact. 
But you go ahead and make the point that uh, it is their behavior that lands them behind bars. As we speak, has any court tried these people for, 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 for us to conclude that their behavior fell for, uh, flat of the laws? They have not been tried, and so nobody can make the point that their behavior is what has landed them there. In, in fact, as uh, Edu, Edu said, it is the presidency through the new, the new patriotic party, through the executive, trying to let people shut their mouths. Because they have said time with that number that if they do not fight this issue of gallops, if they allow it to become a topical issue, then their party will lose. And I'm very surprised where they are getting this information from, that in 2020, the NPP lost uh, uh, some seats mm. because of Gallup. So where, where is this? Uh, no, because uh, of the conduct of the NDC parliament. But candidate. why must you must not, not, No, no, no. You must not determine Take their mic off. Take their mic off. No, take their mic off. Take their mic off. Take their mic off. You know, take their mic off. You be correcting people. You know what you're saying. Take their mic off. Mr. Kujopoku, I think it's. Let's be. No, 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 no. Mr. Kujopoku, let's be very. Let's be very courteous to each other. Because when your co panelists are speaking you tend to be very intrusive it is not only it is not only discourteous it is it is not it is not it is not respectful to all of them so i i have categorically said mr kojo mr kojo please 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 let's be let's be civil towards each other no 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 please your mic is off your mic is off i i am i am saying i am saying i am saying please listen to me unless you want to come and moderate i am saying categorical no 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 please no 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 please no please please I am saying, I, I am saying, I said that you didn't say Mr. Koyopoku, listen to me. If you, if you want to make, if you want to make an interjection, that means that you have the whole time to do a rebuttal. I agree. But, but at that point, at, at, that, truth at that, that, that point, you cannot make that interjection. What but, you can but, do but, 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 is to point. just make a call. Then you say that I'll come back to it. That yes, is fair. But, point, but okay, where you take the, point, the time, no. two, three, four minutes, you want I to respond to the person, it's not fair. Please, please take your time, narrate it down, and then when you come to your point, I think all of us can have a very good conversation. I'm sitting here. There's nothing wrong with that. You still will sit there and have your turn. Said, no, what I did not say. So you I say that, but you don't have a time in it. So then let's go ahead. But say what I said, no, what I did not say. Because so, I'm sitting here. So, so what I'm saying is. Mr. Koyopoku, no, are you trying you, to intimidate your co panelists? No, 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 how can you intimidate anybody? Nobody can be intimidated by your Because, because, because. So you have your test. You can make an interview. You can make a comment. You have said that. It's not fair. It's not fair. Mr. Koyopoku, it's not fair. Mr. Koyopoku, it's not fair. 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 No, 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 no. So, 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 please. The more reason why co panelists are talking. I am saying, Is this what I am doing? saying, and I'll demonstrate it. When you, you can say, I didn't say that, that's fair. But when you take the time from that point, you want to go on and further explain. It is, un okay, it is, it so is not I'll, fair. I will interject Be and make a point and then come back. That is fair. That's good. And, that's good. and then we don't want recurrent interjections. No, because that means that, what I said, that no, I means that, that, that is mean, it, it means that it becomes a strategy to truncate the flow of your no, co-panel. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Mr. Yeah, yeah. Solomon, yeah, please go ahead. Please go ahead. Why he has that? But the point no, is, that, the point still remains that it is very, very interesting that a party that is in government, that has all the powers to deal with issues, is now telling us that because of politics, because of the fear of losing votes, Ghanaians must die. That's what they are telling us. Hmm. That, we, yes, we know the water bodies are polluted. Yes, we know the forest it's been destroyed, but because if we decide to deal with it, Ghanaians will not vote for us. We are not going to deal with it, and that they will push the blame to an opposition. What power does the opposition have? If you are not telling us that the opposition has more power than you, then what is your business being in power or seeking to, 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 to lead this country again? For me, what I, did he say that make you conclude that he says the opposition is more powerful? No, no, but he's saying that when they make any time they make any attempt, the opposition will be fighting them somewhere. And that is not making the fight so, uh, 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 what do you call it? Effective. Effective. And for me, I find it very difficult. Then he mentioned the fact that opinion leaders, lecturers and so on, started fighting against the president when he decided to fight Galamse. I just had a, a test message from a lecturer in uh, UPS, Dr. Roberto Usubwachi. He was, he's asking, message just one name. 
of a supposed opinion leader or lecturer that kicked against the, the fight against Gallup. Say, do you want me to do that or do that after? When it gets to your turn. Okay. The truth of the matter is that the presidency, as we have been told by Professor Fripo Boati, is amply involved in this Gallup say business. And that is why we are not see, seeing to an end to this battle. Names were mentioned. At one point, the president met uh, uh, Professor Fripo Boati and Sir John in a meeting, three people. Sir John, uh, uh, Professor from Bob Watty was bold enough to tell Sir John in the presence of the president that this is the danger, the number one danger to our forest. What did the president do? He did nothing. You understand? Professor from Bob Watty mentioned his name. He mentioned the name of Professor Solomon Wuzo, can I ask you, yes. where you have a whole national coordinator program? That yes. started, of course, we had the, the media, and then also we had a national yes. coordinator program uh, resulting in an IMC or the interministerial yes. committee, et cetera, yes. all being in place. Yes. That should be the pointer to everybody that the president meant what, what he meant, It right? was a camouflage. Camouflage? Yes. That simp simplicity. Because if you look at the detailed report that was submitted to the, to the chief of staff, to the president, for which nothing was done, then nobody can convince me that the president meant it when he said he was putting his president on the line. Ah, but you have been told that the president aids a businessman to ship 40 to $60 million dollars a wealth of gold, every man from this country. Didn't you listen to Alistair Matthias? Are you mean the gold mafia documentary? <laughs> but where is the president having a, any, any gold company in this country? Has he registered any mining company in this country? This understand. is a president. No, you must be able to ship gold when you have a company or when you are into the, the business of buying gold. And mind you, all these multinational companies that are into gold production, they have often taken agreement. So they don't produce looking for market. So the president couldn't have bought the gold that he was shipping out from these multinational companies. Mm. It means these gold are coming from the Galamse business. You understand? So clearly, this president has shown, proven, or proven beyond reasonable doubt, that in this business of Galamse, he is very much involved. And that is why huh? we cannot take one. Ah, this is the president that's well, sent to parliament. You, 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 you cannot make that conclusion. Ah, but he sent LI 2462 to parliament for our forest to be given to people to be mined. We are in a country where we are told that we are doing what we call gold for oil. Have you asked yourself where the government gets the gold? Is the government getting the gold from these multinational companies or getting it from these illegal miners? So clearly, we cannot fight it because the people that ought to take the decisions are not doing so. And, 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 and their communicators, I don't know who is giving that strategy, that go on various platforms, say we are not going to fight Gallam, say, and think that by virtue of this, you are going to win power. That doesn't win power. The behavior of Dr. Ayu Efriye was total disrespect to Tunfu. Here is an MP from Ashanti region, that the king of he's the land. Correct that. No, he is correct. But that. what? 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 Is correct that. Everything no, no, we must correct. What is that? Say. Okay, but what? What? You can say. Total disrespect to Tufu. You can't say that. That behavior of Ayu Efriye is, you is a total disrespect to Tufu. You know why? But so why? You have to ask me why. Why wouldn't you ask me why? Please conclude. You see this? No, no, no. Please conclude. No, but this business of trying to try to try to for. How did you disrespect Otun for? Please. So then you are asking me how? No, but you cannot say. Please conclude for me. Please. Why can't I say that when I know that that is the truth? Please, please conclude. This is the king of Ashanti preaching every day. These stolen people, uh, chiefs who are involved in Galamsi, trying very hard, fighting very hard to prevent this menace. Then you have an MP who is supposed to be a subject. Going around telling people that we are not going to stop Galamset today, we are not going, going to stop Galamset tomorrow. Do you consider but he this? he did say that mm -hmm. all they want is responsible mining, no. not even people to go on water bodies. What, what is he talking about? What was, he, what was his business encouraging or promoting Galamset? But what is Galamse? Ah, huh? what is Galamse? Ghana says that is legality. No, it's not. Right. Galamse means small scale mining. Ah, what are you talking you see, about? What are you talking about? That's your problem. Hold How on. did you? Who gave you that definition? Okay. okay. How so, did you become an authority in deciding what is Galamse? Ever, ever, ever since you, ever since you, ever since you came into this world or in this country, when did Galamse become small scale mining? Yeah. When? When? Okay. So Since can we play okay. a video okay, so of Nana? So can we play so a video so of the random no, of the end? No, but the point is that you have a lot of game. But I think I have to give him back the same dose. But I'm not going to hold up because I'm also not going to talk. But when I was speaking, you never allowed me to speak. You want to have your piece of mind to speak. But he never allowed us to speak. But you have to tell him that it's so fair that we come here to come and make our point. And then you come Are you saying that Galamse is the same or is coterminous too? Small scale mining. Yes, small scale. 
steel yeah. mining in the generic terms, in the lang in the lingua of the streets, everybody calls small scale mining. Is I'm that saying, a new definition because, you're giving? No, it? I'm not because now, now you if you play that video. Please, are you saying that small scale? I asked you, I asked you a categorical question. Let me, let me are you saying small scale no, mining? Everybody calls is, small scale mining. It's equal to Galam. It's not true. It is not true. Please, let me say this. When you Mr. play that, if you, you play, allowed him if you play that right video, to. if you play that video of the running mate of the NDC, he said Galamsi. If you play that video, when he said when she said Galamsi, what was she referring to? Was she still referring to illegality? Let's give everybody their due. When if, what is good for the geese is good for the ganda. When Honorable Efriye said Galamsi. What he referred to was small scale mining. Huh. What Nana Professor, the running mate of the NDC, said, Galamse, she referred to responsible small scale mining. Let's give everybody their due. Now, let me make my point. You said the lecturer text you and said that I should give you. Look, on the 20th, uh, on, on 2020, you, you know, University of Cape Coast lecturer, there is a, a publication on their website, right? UCC.GEDU.Ghana. Benny, Benny. B E N Y E B E N Y I N L Benin, right? He is a lecturer at UCC. He published a paper on these very issues on what the impact the ban of government is having on the small scale artisanal mining. I don't understand. You mean you let you listen to one lecturer and decided? No, but to... he said I should name one. I've named one, so that thing is gone. Now let me no, make but this point. Oh, but but let me issues. make. You said I should name one. I've named. But he doesn't want that to You let him be fed, met, met with the same dose. But me see him. Who both see him like he can wait for somewhere, somebody well, knows. I'm giving you the website. I'm oh, giving this you the website. What are we talking about? Okay, fine. You come and then mess with everyone. But you said somebody send you a text. I'll give you the website. You are telling me now. No, let's move on. Look, let's make this very clear. As a Duji said, MPP as a government did not lose presidential votes in these constituencies. So it is not the fear that if we fight Galamse, people will not vote for us. Ah. We have the numbers. We know that if we fight Galamse, there are good people of this country who vote MPP regardless. So let's put away. Mr. Kojon Mr. are you saying? That voters go to the polls in Akwitia, for example. No, I'm just let me make the, let me clarify. They decide they decide to vote for the presidential candidate being the incumbent Nanado Danko Oh, please la. I'm adding And the then and then also um the his I'm candidate understand. is not voted for. Okay, so let me explain. What do you think explain, leads to people let, to vote skirt okay, and blouse? Let me explain to you. The you see, the parliamentary election is not fought the same as the presidential election. Because the parliamentary election is the PC on the ground who is doing the interactions in the communities. The presidential election is the person's view of who he wants to be president. Okay? So the conduct of a PC in the constituency will impl will affect what the PCs and the people in the community and think this time of in him. regards to and legal mining. You, and this, so let me give you an example, claim examples. What I'm saying is that I want to make everybody in the NDC media and propaganda should listen to well. What I'm saying is that, and as from Edoji said, we are not scared to fight Galamse because we will lose. No, because when we fought Galamse, we did not lose. We came back to power in 2020. Nanado won by a good margin of 500,000. So we fought Galamse and we won. So that's not the fear. What I'm saying is that you want something to stop in the community. If you want something to stop in the community, there should be a concerted effort by all stakeholders to stop it. It's like having a child in a house where mother and father cannot agree on what the child should do. If mother says one thing and father says another, that kid will grow up disrespecting everybody because every time mother and father is fighting in front of the kid. What we and I am saying is that in the constituencies where today there is mining going on, one person will tell them to stop. The other person will come there, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, no shit. And to this point, they told this, uh, he's a lawyer. They told these boys, go and demonstrate. Oh, it's a misdemeanor. When you go to court, you'll be granted. Which boys? The demonstrators who went and blocked. Who are I've Raffle sent you the videos. and all that. I've <clears> sent <throat> you the video. If we can play them. Somebody stood on the streets of Ghana, near a hospital, and says, a Ghana for Mbwe, Ebiwa That's Raffle. Ayede. That's Raffle. Ghana for Mbwe, Ebiwa Na Ayede. It's on video. He said it. They blocked the roads to a hospital and playing football. And you want Dr. Baumia to come out and say what about those people? Please, leave doctor out of this. And before I forget, happy birthday to the gentleman. Happy birthday to my brother. Happy birthday to the next president of this country, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. 
But yeah, he, let, me now, he, let me now. Let me. Let me go. Let me go. Oh, my but wishing him birthday. No, no, but he, he took four minutes of oh, time. Oh, yeah, Let so me that say. Like, let oh, me. Let okay. me say what I'm saying. It's different. The issue at stake. You have three minutes, Roland. That's fine. The issue at stake today, uh, Roland, is that the government is committed in fighting Galamse, but we need honest partners to fight Galamse. Who controls the Minerals Commission? Okay. So Who controls see, the Ghana Armed let, Forces? Let's, let's, let's who is the chair of the police the council? Government. The government. You see, okay. Roland, there who, are two conversations who, that who, nobody's who, having. Who is the president's rep in the various metropolitan, <laughs> municipal, and district Roland, assemblies? Roland, you know this conversation who we're having in the Who chairs the various security councils? Roland, can I say something? This conversation we're having in the media is two different who, conversations. Do you who, know who, that? Who Roland, let, taxes you've asked the questions. Let me ask. On, it's on, two different on the equipment that are important. How do we, hold on, how the, the government, the political heads, fight something from the Jubilee House when the chiefs, the opinion leaders, the stakeholders on the ground don't support it? How do you, do, how do you fight it? Today, so when are you, you listen, saying by 1992, our, if the stakeholders didn't want democracy, we shouldn't be democratic? What was that? If the what? God is good. If the go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. In Wasser Cropon today, right? In Wasser Cropon, Galamse and the, 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 mine, the small scale miners who are mining on the streets are no longer in the bush. In Wasser Cropon, when you are driving a main road, you see them. And the opinion leaders in the area. Uh, today, my own Catholic priest. Those areas, do uh, we have the presence appointees there who yes, are managing? Yes, we do, and we do also have stakeholders who are today who are talking. My point is that we, the government alone, how does government fight this? I have been on TV3, and I said that, look, for me, when people are seen on the river mining and polluting the water with mercury and cyanide, right, the police should go there with arms, and if they resist, you shoot to kill. I've said it on TV3. We should fight the water bodies with all our might and our, our, our will. Mr. Kojons, no, 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 let me land. You don't let me land. No, you Please. have landed. No, let me, I'm not landing. In effect, you are saying that the government has lost control. No, government has not lost control. Government but that's does what you're not saying. have honest partners to fight this. The NDC, mm. the opinion leaders, when government banned it. So the MPP was voted into government alongside the NDC? No, and it's, yes, because they are part of legislation. I don't understand. No, we went to a vote. What do you mean? No, mm. no, we went to a vote. How many? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We have three arms of government. The legislature is also part of government. They are opinion leaders, they are stakeholders in the communities. If they are going around telling people that don't mind them, do this, and the government is coming with the police and the military and arresting them and later tell them to come back and do it. The same way they are now telling, right. Aduji is telling us that people who went out and said that in more way, Ibi Yeden should be granted a bail after 24 hours. No, over everybody's dead body. They will face the full rigors of the law. Next time, no youth. When they tell you to go out and misbehave, you will not do it. So you're clamping down dissent? Yes. Anyway, okay. Uh, so you, you just have four minutes to, to tackle this. Now, how do we um, avert the current situation as it is? You see, on CTFM online now, we will lose our seats if we impose a ban on Galamse. Who said that? MPP MP for Asante Achim South. And I read the story. Kweku Asante Boati, the member of parliament for Asante Achim South, has expressed concerns that the government reluctance to tackle illegal mining, <clears throat> commonly known as Galamse, is driven by the fear of losing the December 7th election. In fact, he called the press and spoke to them on the 2nd of October. In the midst of organized labor, even saying that we would demonstrate an MPP MP. And today, MPP MP, Afriye, MPP MP, Mirekuduka, all these are MPP MPs. First of all, Galamse, in fact, the headquarters of Galamse in Western region is within the Takwa and Shoyem enclave. The member of parliament there is an MPP MP. So why didn't you lose that seat? Akufado won the Takwa and Shoyem seat. Mereduka won. Look, you see, let your logic reflect circumstances. When your logic is driven by convenience, people see that and they ask, ah, is it the same uh, uh, Kwejo Poku that we know? What do you mean by his logic is convenient? He brings you, First um, of all, he gives on, you on, specific on, examples to say. The ban was effected by the executive. Nanado, not the MPs. And even the setting up of the interministerial committee. Perfect. Yes. So if people are angry with the ban, 
would they take their anger toward the member of parliament or the person who issued the ban? Logic. Uh, Roland, can I Two. Say oh, please, please, please. I like to, be, I like to say what I say. You know can what I happened? Please. You gave me four minutes. If you do this, it's not fair. Okay, that's fine. Go what on. we should all appreciate is that the four noted Galamse regions, Akufado won all, Central, Western, Eastern, Ashanti. More than the vote you got in 2016. Where is your logic? Look, the people you are speaking to are persons of reason. Now, you see, when Al Jazeera did the documentary and directly placed our president at the center, the kingpin, you mean the, the Goldwater Oboro, documentary? The Busumuru of Galamse. What did he do? He threatened Al Jazeera. He let them run away. And ran away. Because he saw that the evidence that will be put in court is so overwhelming and you'll be embarrassed. How come Akufado has not sued Al Jazeera? Since the time that his lawyer, my brother Echo Esuma, said the president will sue Al Jazeera. He cannot do it because he'll be exposed. Two, you see, why we are here today is that MPP wanted to take charge of the Galamse, the concessions. And that is how do you are. make that conclusion? You see, if you listen to Titus Glover, he let out the cat out of the bag. He said, Look, our own people are the ones who are in the effort. If we to me can go into the Tano Nimre forest and mine. And he's the regional chairman of MPP. Akufado met men of God and was defending him all throughout your life. Look at the situation where the Western Regional Minister, MP for Takrade, Kobi Dako, openly, even with video, you would expect that, oh, people will say some of this thing behind the scene. With video, capturing him, was directly encouraging Galamseyes, and you come and sit and you say we are what partners in what on the seventh day. Is it wrong if he says you are partners in this? No, because you're a key opposition leader uh, or you, party, please, and, please. That, and that's that's what listen, he means. Listen to me. The constitution hmm, on minerals said all minerals are vested in not John Mahama. He said all minerals are vested in. Okay. Nana do Article 257. Article 2576, yeah. In fact, concession, nobody had gotten a mining concession from 2017 to date, approved by John Mahama or his minister. Your minister, you the president, your minister who acts on your behalf, <sighs> Mineral Commission Board, that you appointed, right? You have a situation where in the midst of public concern, as late as 3rd October 2024, Whilst organized labor said they were going to demonstrate on this issue, Akufuado and his minister, Minerals Commission, were issuing 11 licenses. Look, Roland, the level of impunity by Akufuado Baumia government is one that we have never seen since 1992. And that, so is, why, and that is why I have said, I, I'll conclude no, on this. Your time is up. And that I'll is why I minutes. have said, M Mr. Look, they interjected me. You know it. No. You allowed the interjection, no, 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 no. and now you are seeking no, no, no. to get to me. No. Let me conclude 30 seconds. I want to say this carefully, that if you do not punish the MPP on the 7th of December 2024, hmm? <laughs> what you are essentially saying is that the MPP, they are entitled to misgoving this country. And that is why I said, even so, putting Bahamia on so, the ballot is a way of testing our national sanity. Whether, uh, as a people, are you really for, for, for real? What is that? So, so no. what, what is happening is that Four the, minutes on this. the government has given up. There is no hope that they can deal with the issue of Galamse, which is an existential threat. And why would Ghanaians continue to encourage or even think of renewing the mandate of a government that does not care when there is a clear evidence that uh, if we do not do anything about Galamse, all of us will die? And that is why I would encourage the, the, the Cali Bishop Conference that are supposed to... Uh, they said they're also going on a match. You see, good, and not just a match. They are, they are going to pray as well. That is serious. For people to resort to prayer it means they have lost hope 
in the government. And I believe that the prayer must not just be directed at the heart of the, the president. The prayer must be directed to people that are destroying. Some of them have to be eliminated from the system if prayer works. So that we have a, a peace of mind. I Again, don't understand. The prayer should eliminate people. Oh yes, 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 yes. If people are destroying our what if people are supposed to act to save the unborn generation and they are not doing so, and we have our bishops going to pray, they must not pray that they have a change of mind. Because these people have hardened hearts. So the prayer must be directed at those that are doing it so that they seek the face of God to clear all of them from this earth. And all of us will be free. Now I understand that the fetish priest of Ghana, the fetish priest association of Ghana, the Akonfo. Do we have an association of they, they, Akonfo or fetish priests? According of, to, what's the name of the Akonfo? They said 2,000 uh, 2, 2, of them. 2,000 plus. As for them, they said they are going to rain curses. Apparently, the gods are in the water. No, okay. they, the gods are going to act. And world. so we believe that once the gods are all speaking, beyond the prayer, they must convert their anger into voting on the 7th of December and choose that leader that has given that clear cut policies. Mr. Alan Chamatu is saying that if you make the attempt of engaging in illegality on our water bodies, it's, an, uh, it's a lifetime imprisonment. And there is no way the first day he enters office, that law, LI 2462, will be revoked so that we will not allow anyone to enter. So you want the airline to be revoked? Absolutely. A that, state of emergency? A, a state of, it has to be, because we are in an emergency situation. But the president wouldn't do it, because the galam says it's been done right. by people in authority. All right, Be before I let you have a minute and wrap up, uh, let me just read a comment. This one is coming from Prof. John, who says, Roland, actually per Article 2576 and Act 703, any mining operation without a license is illegal. Crime against the environment is actually a crime against humanity per the International um, Criminals Court. Well, at the end of the day, um, we have to take a look at this one is coming from Mr. Um, Mike Kofi uh, Aflu, who says uh, the MPP National Women's Organizer, Kate Jimfoy, also said on national television that we should suspend any action on banning Galamsey until after the December 7 elections. Is that a position? of Dr. Mahmoudou Baumier's campaign, or it is just a personal position. Otherwise, they'll lose seat. She said that. You can also play the video. If videos are now being played on your television, as has become the order of the day these days. And then also, um, I have a couple more messages. Let me just uh, take this one. Um, this one is coming from Chairman Katie, who says, look, some of the utterances by your panelists are so annoying. They just don't respect us. We citizens who are businessmen, even sometimes contributing to the daily upkeep of people, know the impact of Galamse on our lives. Yet, we have people who sit on television and say everything is fine. It cannot be fine. And then uh, Nelson Akotia. So, so nobody in government can speak truth to power and call evil evil. It's only the movement for change who left the MPP and came into a position as movement for change, who are saying it rightly. Whatever they say is actually the truth because they have experienced what goes on in the MPP. Master Planner, uh, Junior Kintampo, uh, many of you say, why do I keep reading messages? Um, okay, he's a regular watcher of the show. He says, um, Honorable Eduji should know that we are fighting Galamsey and not small scale mining. All the MMDCs is mentioning, they are, whose names is mentioning, uh, are, doing, are, are, are doing mining, legal mining, and not Galamsey. His analysis doesn't hold water on this matter. <coughs> Galamsey um, defender. And, um, and then this one is coming from Abigail. Abigail in Goma says, does the government involve stakeholders when issuing li mining licenses? Do they know that people take legitimate licenses and go and undertake illegal mining, do they monitor them? Because it is through the effort of monitoring that mining can be very sustainable. Abigail, thank you very much for your comment as well. And then uh, we have a couple more messages. Uh, okay, so uh, Chrissy Mensah says, um, all right. So let me just read this one. This one has been on uh, Facebook for a long time tagging me. And uh, that's Salim Adam says, the MPP has refused to address the Galamsey crisis and hence the resort to shifting blame. They initially accused the previous government and the public while being complicit themselves. Even the president appears, why, should, why, why else would he push a bill to parliament or an ally permitting illegal miners to mine or to, or 
permit miners to mine in forest reserves, at the same time issuing <coughs> over 1,000 licenses despite ongoing protests. Why would they even issue licenses to companies, etc.? All right. Now, a minute each, please. Okay. Um, now, I want to also make this point very clear. And I came on this program and said that the conduct mm. of certain individuals in four constituencies, and I mentioned those constituencies, right? Because there is a national conversation, but in the constituency, I'm giving an example of four pieces, parliamentary candidates in four constituencies whose conduct has led to the menace getting worse. Because when the party in government says that we will stop it, these four parliamentary candidates for the NDC promoted the issues on the ground and as a result won seats. Let's put that clear. Now, my last point will be the message that Dr. Mahmoud Baumia has to resolve this matter. Look, there is less than 60 days to election. All those demonstrations, you wait for the biggest demonstration in Ghana, which is the 7th of December, which you go and vote for the candidate you think has the best solution to solve this menace. Dr. Baumia has said that he's going to give geological data to people who are doing small-scale mining so they know where to dig. They are not just trying, doing try and error. They are giving data to go here and dig so that they dig responsibly and afterwards we will cover it. Secondly, he's going to form what is called a mineral development bank to give money, to give resources and give machines to these small scale miners to mine responsibly. That is what Dr. Baumia will do. And everybody who wants to demonstrate should demonstrate on the 7th of December by voting for Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. A minute, sir. You see, again, Baumia is the sitting vice president. He says that if he solved the Galamse problem now, what would he do tomorrow? He's never said that. How fanciful can that be? How ridiculous can that be? This thing that he says, we have, in fact, today marks exactly two months to the next election. Baumia can today say the LI is revoked. Baumia can today say the mineral development, whatever, is established today. The only reason why he can't do it is that he and Akufado are Siamese twins. What is the Bamiya's message going into 22? Is it continuity to continue the corruption, the family and friend, the nepotism, the pervasive corruption, so sourcing? Is that what he is preaching or he's preaching for change? What is Bamiya's message? I'm giving is it, it to change you. I'm giving or continuity? It to you. So we must all get this clear. That Bamiya does not mean well for this republic. He's the chairman of the police council. Look, 40,000 police officers, if they are deployed, even if you deploy 10,000 of them today, by close of day tomorrow, Galamse would stop. If you want anybody to blame for Galamse menace, blame no other person but Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya. The election is a referendum. On the incompetence, the maladministration, the disruption of our water body by Bamiya and his boss, <coughs> Nanado Danko Ekufu Ado. And that is why we must all understand one thing. The election of December 7 is Ghana's second independence. <laughs> Independent from this vindictive, annoying, arrogant government. And that is what we need. I want to conclude. The NDC would always support anything that looks like responsible mining. And if there is any state of emergency, it should be a state of emergency declared on Baumia and his boss, Akufuado, for the destruction of our water body. That should be the call on the 7th of December. Where's your, no policy? No Where's your policy on mining? No make no so, mistake. Thank uh, you. Let me first of all take this opportunity to wish the vice president who is on his way out of office a happy birthday. Let today be a moment of reflection for how far he and his boss, Dane Kufado, have destroyed this country. May this never happen to this country. Amen. Again. And may he go out of power and reflect. And if he so wish to come back to politics, do it the right way. Hallelujah. Uh, I am uh, not confident this government can do anything about this government. No. See, Dane Kufado checked out last year. He cannot do anything. So I would rather plead with the Catholic Bishop Conference that tomorrow, as I will join them, our prayer will be that let anyone that has aided in destroying our environment be eliminated from this world so that all of us <laughs> will be at peace. And I will end by saying that if you want Galamsey, vote one. If you want development, vote 13. That's your 
is what is resonating with the people of this country. And let me use this opportunity to thank the people of Ashanti region for showing massive love to one of your own, Mr. Alan Chamartin. It's so unprecedented. It, it, it brings down memories of how you held him when he was a trade minister. We are very grateful. You have assured us that you will vote for him massively. And same with the people of Central Region, the love you are showing to our running mate, Kwame Osudanso. And let me say that the fight against Galamse, the day the president, together with his vice, will say, we have gotten enough gold, and so we are stopping. That would be the end of matter. So Until you then, mean it's the, 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 the green, the green, yeah, 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 Thank you very much. Please, their mics are off. Uh, step into the world of Dewa 539 for your chance to win big with Dewa Direct and Dewa Chop Money. With Dewa Direct, down star 446 hash. Pick the range of the numbers 1 to 39. And let's have some great conversation because you get to win big 20 times your stake, 40 times your stake, 400 times your stake. And then you get to win cash every evening at 7 p.m. And also on Sunday. Sunday's 6 p.m. Now, any birds also love Dewa Chop Money. And at 10 a.m., you dial the number star 446 hash. You choose a range of the numbers 1 to 39. You win 20 times, 40 times, or 400 times your stake. You can go online and play dewa-nle.com, get onto that portal, or still use a short code. Have uh, some great winnings into your mobile money account or walk in and win big. Roland, then Thank you, gentlemen. MP for Upper Danger wanted to call you to set the record straight because you kept mentioning a lawyer, Darko. Okay. And he says that, look, he had never, and in fact, um, government. Tomorrow, if we are discussing, then no, you can have. He says government controls the police. If they have any evidence that he's ever been involved, all right, you arrest. We're, them. we're taking a break. When we come back, we will bring you the latest when it comes to sports and also some of the winners, if not all the winners, especially Titiaka, the overall winner for Ghana's most beautiful. All of us are winners when it comes to GMB 2024. Bye bye.